Here we are at today's deal of the day. It's a spectacular home. Over 6,000 square feet in a spectacular location. House needs some work, but uh, can be had for a, a fabulous price. Let me show you the neighborhood here. By the way, this house is on, uh, I believe, close to an acre of land. It's one of the largest lots there is in this part of town. And this is an incredible part of town. I mean, look at this caliber of the homes in this neighborhood. Here's your house across the street. This whole area is big, beautiful homes, well established. And look at this big uh, wall here that runs around the property with uh, wrought iron gates and railings all the way around. So, I mean, look at the house across the street. It's absolutely gorgeous. So uh, let's get a close-up of, uh, of this home. Okay, here we are walking, and this is the gate. And uh, just to show you as I turn to my right, you're going to see how this yard goes. And we're going to take a closer look at that from the back. That uh, big wall goes around everything. House coming into view here now. English Tudor style. With the shaker roof. Your cedar shaker shingle roof. Castle-like atmosphere. You can be the king of your own castle here. And I apologize for the video shaking because I'm going to walk around and show you. Here the circular drive continues down here to your other gate, your exit gate. And uh, as I swing back this way, you're going to see a three-car garage coming into view right here. The beautiful ceilings and palms here. But it's more than just a three-car garage, because as we come around the corner here, you can see the concrete pad continue going. You've got your wall continuing. And you have an additional three-car garage coming to view right here. Beautiful palm swinging the breeze up here. As we come around the corner here, we've got a coconut tree up there. And uh, you can see the second story coming into view now. With... Uh, um, Balcony. balcony right there, yep. You got three windows outcropping here. Beautiful stonework. The AC systems are missing right there. Give you a close up here of this second garage right here as I swing around. With cedar doors. Roof appears to be in great shape. Of course, these roofs last, last forever. If you know cedar shingle or cedar, you know, these, these types of roofs, they need very, very little maintenance once they're on. As we come through this gate here, Got some cool exotic plants growing. And uh, this is the pool area we're coming into here. Ceiling fan missing right there. But here's our outdoor bar. And I uh, just need some sprucing up. You can see where they had a fridge and it doesn't take much to spruce this up. Here's a wet bar. Uh, garage is locked, but uh, you can see in here, uh, it's really gonna come into focus very well here, but through the window. Ceiling's in real good shape. There is a second story on here. So uh, I'll finish uh, shooting the pool area here. And uh, this is beautifully put together with tile. And there's your spectacular pool coming into view right now. I'll get a close-up of that, but uh, here you come out the back door. This is all built overhang right here. Beautiful work underneath. Missing a couple ceiling fans right there. As I swing the camera to the left, I'm going to look backwards towards the bar in the three-car garage, and you're going to see there's uh, uh, steps going upstairs, and there's like a loft area up there, um, and there's a spot where there used to be an AC unit in the wall, and uh, we'll go up there and take a close-up of that in a second. Here's our fence looking out over the rest of our backyard, and let's take a close-up of this pool right here. And of course, that's going to be a waterfall, a magnificent waterfall right there once it's cleaned up and running. Yeah, this is real pretty right here. And uh, I mean, it feels like a resort, kind of thing you'd find at a casino maybe. We'll go in the house in a minute, but I'm going to finish filming the outside of the pool area here. You can see some of the stone wall right here. Looking over part of the house here. 
spectacular stone fireplace right there. And uh, looking back at the pool. And there's like a little entertaining area right here. It's missing a couple side lights on it. But a picnic area, or maybe this is where you set up your band. Maybe you hire Van Halen to come play at your bar mitzvah or something for this. And uh, coming over here, here's the back corner of your property. Fence there, and your stone fence coming into view right there. Looking straight out at the rest of your property. Here we are upstairs looking at the pool. Sorry for the sun shining in our face here. But this is the uh, guest house, and what you didn't see over the fence there from the pool is there's a waterway back here. Full-time canal back there that is just picturesque as can be. There's uh, ducks swimming in it over there, so large waterway right behind the house. And uh, here's the loft. we got some crap here that needs to be cleaned up in uh, typical bank repo fashion, but I think it's a pretty easy fix. Try to get you a better look at that waterway here. There you go. And uh, sliding glass door has been lifted off its hinges here. Had a wall AC in it right there, coming inside. Somebody got, got busy with uh, spray paint, or just paint in general. And uh, there was a kitchenette here, so this would obviously have to be redone. And uh, you know, lots of primer to go over these uh, spray painted here. A couple of skylights there. Missing a uh, light fixture here, because there is a ceiling fan there. It's like a little cooktop right here in the center. Tile, I think, will clean up just fine. And uh, that's a view of it. And then uh, coming over here, past the closets, your little guest bath right here. Missing the vanity. Again, some spray paint done right there. And uh, your tile shower right here, which uh, needs a little bit of work. All right, let's go downstairs. Hey, here's the front door we're about to walk in. Um, you can hear some talking because our other guys are in here right now. So you're seeing this for the first time with me. We got some real nice tile floors. Front door looks nice. Looking straight up in this entry foyer. Kind of feels like you're in the haunted mansion coming into focus right here. So you can get that into focus. Um, little area right there looking over. Yep, there's some cobwebs. That completes the haunted mansion feeling of the place. If you're a Disney character. A little alcove right here. And uh, here's our gentleman. And as we look straight up, see the stairway going upstairs. We'll finish downstairs here first. The tile does look to be in pretty good shape throughout the whole house. Crank out windows look to be in good shape. We got wide crown molding. Even that light fixture doesn't look half bad. Now this particular room doesn't appear to need anything more than paint from what I can see. We've got uh, oval here coming into the kitchen area. Brick facing. Okay, the kitchen has been ripped apart. So we get to build the kitchen any way we want to, which is okay. As you can see, they had uh, the brick right here. And uh, the granite was just piece granite. And uh, there's still pieces over here left from where they were ripping it out. Double oven in the wall right there. Sorry for the camera going out of focus here. But that's how your kitchen is. I'm standing in the dining room right now because above me is like a tree ceiling right here. She needs a nice, nice light fixture there. So and we've got a uh, uh, stone fireplace here. That's yeah, a little bit better. And look at this spectacular room here. Tell me that's not Haunted Mansion-esque. Look at those ceiling lights. Now you got to keep those. Those are too cool. And that ceiling just goes straight up with that loft area running all the way around up there. Coming down over here, there's a bathroom. It's dark, so I apologize for it not being out of focus. 
Uh, hopefully the still shots I take will show, but we got a large sink and base and the uh, um, toilet all upgraded, all black. And now we're going to walk over here. That tile continues to go throughout. This room here, again with the wide cron molding. Some patchwork has been done to the walls. And uh, there's one of our windows there. We've got some Look garbage wild right here. here. It's crazy enough, you almost leave it. It's just nuts. And look down here, it actually bows up. I don't know if you can see that, but see how that actually curves upwards? Um, lots of mirrors. And then over here, the wall tile looks good. Look at that uh, black toilet and uh, bidet. Here's a better shot at the sink. You can see the type of faucets there are. And uh, look at the bathtub set in right there. Overlooking that window with like a, a planter at the end. And this is a very nice upscale tile. So you pretty much got to keep all that. I would almost just clean these up and keep all this. Okay, we're walking out of that bedroom now. And I'm walking down the hallway. You can see the nice tile goes everywhere. Here's a guest bedroom right here. Got thinner crown molding in here, but still is crown molding. Large closet missing its doors, but does have built ins. And a nice bow out window right there that looks at that back three car garage. This here is our laundry room, sink, and cupboards up above. That little hole right there, I think, used to be a drop down a, uh, a ironing board. Come out to the garage here. This is the other three car garage. The panels are off the front of the breaker boxes, but the breakers are all apparently intact. They might have to have an electrician just run through and double check everything out. And as we look over here, we do have garage door openers on two of the three doors. And just a lot of trash out in here, a bunch of old books and such. Now we're back here in the main hallway. We did like a big circle that came around through here from the garage and the other bedrooms. Over there is that family room we just went into. Kitchen coming into view, closet here, living room. Now we're gonna head up these stairs. Stairs are in ec excellent shape. Got some nice uh, stonework here. And there's another set of stairs going up to the top of the tower. This is looking down into the uh, entryway here. And here we are coming up these stairs here. My little loft area here, sitting room. And uh, we'll turn right, there's a little step up right here. Oak floors, closet right there. And it looks like bamboo wood flooring here in this bedroom. Wires coming out of the ceiling, crown molding. Uh, we got uh, walk-in closet right here. Bedroom. And bamboo floors. Overlooking that deck again. So pretty much just paint and ceiling fans in these rooms, from what I can see, and maybe closet doors. This room here you really can't see, but it is another bathroom and it's kind of exotic. So I hope these still shots will show you what it looks like. We'll head over here. And here's that uh, railing area that looks down on the big family room. Again, more books. And uh, this whole area is huge up here. And just some heavy trash out, but really good shape. Recessed lighting up above. Looking straight down on that big room. More wood floors, another big room right here. Almost like an attic style bedroom. Looks like they had bees right there. That certainly looks like honey. Oh, it is. I see some bees on it yet. And then uh, right there, uh, one hole in the roof, so it looks like there is one roof leak right there. And this walks upstairs here. Right up to our little, the top of the castle. All wood floors. Just like a little sitting room or computer room. Looks like they had some speaker wire hanging down. That opens up to the top of your castle. And looks at it. Yep. And uh, hanging light right here, just a hanging wire here. It's a little wood door to close.